Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I want to show you how I do a brick chicken out on the green egg. This recipe is super easy. We're just going to get some seasoning on the outside of that chicken, get it out on a hot grill, skin side down, and use some bricks to weigh it down, really get that skin crispy. It's going to be moist, it's going to be juicy, it's going to be delicious, I promise. So let's get started. So the chicken we're using today is about a three and a half pound bird. I bought it fresh at the grocery store. The only thing bad about buying chicken um, in packaging like I did is man, the chicken breast has a little split on the skin on the top breast. It's okay, it's not gonna stop me from cooking it, but you know, you'd like to see it with the perfect skin all the way around. I mean, we might get a little bit of spread, but cooking it over and having the bricks on it's gonna weight it down good. Um, you wanna get the chicken out of the package, get all the um, giblets out of it, anything they've packed with it, and just pat it dry with paper towel. You want it to be as dry as possible. Now, we want this chicken to lay flat, so I'm gonna have to take the backbone out. It's called spatchcock, and I'm gonna show you how we do that. You're just gonna turn the chicken over, kind of find its neck. And then the easiest way i found is use a pair of kitchen shears. And I'm gonna turn it to where I can get to it. We're just gonna cut right down the backbone. The backbone runs right where you think it would. Just get your shears and go right beside it. And it cuts fairly easy, you know, if you got a good pair of kitchen shears. Just kind of go straight line all the way down. We're gonna do the same thing on this side of the backbone. You're going through bone, so it's gonna be a little slow go, but there you go. So now the chicken, you can see it's, it's wanting to lay out, but we're not quite done just yet because we've got to open this breast bone up a little bit so it'll, it'll, let, it, it'll let the breast lay flat. You can kind of see here, there's a little U-shaped bone. And you're gonna take our knife and just cut through that bone. You can feel when you go through it. Now to let that breast lay right on out. Okay, we got the chicken laid out. I've got it in a platter now so I can season it. Did a quick disinfect on the table because it's always important when you're working with raw poultry to keep things clean and disinfected. So let's season this chicken now. We're gonna use some simple stuff. First thing we're gonna do is just get a light coat of vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil you like here. I just like vegetable oil because it's gonna brown that chicken nice and it has a, a higher smoke uh, temperature so it's not gonna burn out there on the green egg. And I'm just using a brush and kind of putting it all over the skin. I really want that skin moisturized with this vegetable oil. First seasoning that we're gonna put on is salt, pepper, and garlic. Man, it goes great on everything, and I've got it in my EP rub, so that's what we're gonna use. Next, I have some herbs de Provence. And this is just a mixture of rosemary, thyme, basil, savory, marjoram. I mean, you can buy this already um, packaged together. I was lucky enough to have somebody bring me some actually from France and it's great on chicken. And that's it. That's all we're going to do to this side. But I do want to show you, you want to flip these legs in. Looks, gives it a better presentation. So we're going to go ahead, oil the outside of these up, get a little more seasoning, a little more herb. There we go. Now I can do the back side. I'm trying to keep one hand clean always. We're just gonna do a quick on this side too. A little salt, pepper, garlic, a little herb. Now we have the chicken seasoned, let's talk about how we're gonna cook it. I'm using my big green egg today and I'm gonna be running it about 300 degrees. So whatever kind of grill you're using doesn't really matter as long as you can hold that temp. But you're also gonna need a couple tools to go along with this cook because it's brick chicken after all. You've got to have some bricks. And I had some out in my backyard that I used for cooking. You know, they weren't the cleanest thing. I brought them in, scrubbed them down in the sink a little bit, wrapped them up good in aluminum foil. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be some nice weight that you can put on that chicken, really press it down and get some, the skin just right. If you don't have bricks, hey, use a heavy cast iron skillet. They work just fine. They can withstand the heat. It's also gonna put some weight on it. Another important thing we're gonna use or digital thermometers. I've got a Chef Alarm and an MK4 thermometer. Anytime I'm cooking chicken, I'm trying to nail temperature. One, because I don't want to make anybody sick. We need to take this bird to at least 165 in the breast, 175 in the thighs. But after that, you're going to dry it out. So temp internal temperature is real critical, especially when you're cooking chicken. And that's why I use these Thermowork products. Uh, one thing I will say, I'm going to show you where we put these probes. Anytime you're using a probe, it only reads on the tip. So we're not running the thermometer probe all the way through the meat. You only want to get it in the thickest part. So in these thighs, it's going to be right in this area. 
And I'm just going in a little bit, halfway down. You can see I'm not all the way down in the chicken with my probe. That's real important because you'll get a false reading. All right, I've got the egg up to 300 degrees, get just a little bit of pecan smoke coming on it. I've got a heat, my heat diverter inside the egg. I've also got an aluminum pizza, uh, a pizza pan covered in aluminum foil to catch any drippings, just to help keep it a little clean. So I'm just gonna get the chicken right on the rack, just gonna center it up. Make sure it's a nice, neat package. Before we put the bricks on, I'm gonna go ahead and get my temp probe in the deepest part of the thigh. So I'm just coming in right at an angle here, right in the center, didn't go too far. Let's me hook my chef alarm up. Got it set at 175 degrees. Right now we're about room temp. Now we're gonna get our brakes on top of the chicken. Just got one brick on one side, and one on the other. Smashing it down. Get some nice color on that skin. Get the lid closed. And I've just got my wheel crack just a little bit on top. Let it get back up to 300 degrees. I'm just gonna hold it there. All right, so we're getting up to about 148, 150 degrees. And that's as far as I want it to go skin down. I noticed we're getting some good color on it. It's been on about 45 minutes and that's you know about what I was thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the chicken over. And we, you know, you can see it's, it's got some color to it. You still see some of that herbs. Skin didn't bust too bad where I had it. We don't really need the bricks anymore. So I'm just gonna kind of set them back to the back. You can take them off the grill. But I do want to brush a little butter on it. Get a little lemon squeezed over it for a little bit of extra flavor. So I'm trying to work quick here. The butter brown it up just a little more as it sits there and finishes out. Squeeze just a touch of lemon over it just for a little extra flavor. Brighten it up some. And I've still got my thermometer probe right in the same spot. So I'm gonna close it down. You don't wanna leave it open too long. But I want it to continue cooking. I wanna watch that internal temperature. Now we're really worried about hitting that 175 in the thigh, 165 in the breast. So I'll come back and check in about 15 minutes, keeping an eye on that chef alarm. That's why it's nice to have. All right, you can hear the chef alarm going off. It's telling me that thigh hit 175. That's exactly where we wanted it. But I never trust that alone. I always just verify that I've hit my temps with my thermopin. So you see we're getting 166. Right, go ahead and check the thigh back there. Make sure it's 175. It's saying 177, 178. And this chicken's done. I mean, I think it looks great. You can see the skin's got a little crispy on it. It's got a good brown color, but you can still see some of the herbs we put on it. Only thing we have to do now is get it inside and let it rest for about five minutes before we cut into it. Always the best part. I'm just going to use some gloves with some liners, get it on a platter, take it inside. I mean, I call that brick chicken on the green egg right there. Okay, so we brought the chicken inside and just let it hang out here on the cutting board for about five minutes. Now it's, it's okay to go ahead and cut it up and serve it. Before we do that today, I want to tell you a little bit about what we did. Let's just recap it real quick. We started out with a three and a half pound chicken. I uh, brought it home, got it out of the package, got it paper towel dry. We cut the backbone out, spatch cocked it, rubbed it down with a little uh, vegetable oil, seasoned it with that salt, pepper, garlic, AP rub, and a little of the herb de Provence. Then we got it out on the smoker, brick chicken. So we went skin down, brick wrapped in full on each half, uh, once it got up to about 150 degrees, about 45 minutes in, we flipped it, you know, took the bricks off, flipped the chicken over, brushed it with a little butter, and just squeezed a little lemon over it for some extra flavor. Finished it out to 175 in the thigh and 165 in the breast that we verified. Don't just go by the chef alarm alone, always check. Then we let it rest, so how easy is that? So man, this chicken's smelling really great and it's looking great. I can't wait to try it. So I'm gonna show you how we cut this up. And what I like to do is just go ahead and cut it right in half, right down that breastbone. Just use a good sharp knife. We'll go ahead and separate the legs and thigh. Just kind of raise them up and you can see kind of the natural line where you separate them here. The chicken kind of does its job for you. I'll go ahead and do it on both of them. You can see how easy it is. I'm not cutting through bone, just separating that skin. Now we're left with that breast and wing. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and just take the wing off, come right behind it, find the joint, go right through it, you got a wing. Now, for the breast, you just wanna see the breast bone and go right down it. There we go. Now we're gonna slice it up. Oh, you can see the moisture, the skin's good. It's 
cooked perfectly all the way through. No, it's going to be tender. Man, it looks great. I'm going to get a bark right off the front here with some of that skin. Those herbs are great on it. Salt, pepper, and garlic comes through. Basic flavors, but you get a lot of that, that pecan smoke. You can tell it's been cooked on a grill. It's excellent. Hey, I'm telling you, man, this brick chicken is the way to go. It's a ton of flavor, and there's so much moisture that's left into that meat and hitting those temps. You can't go wrong with it. If you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel, man. We're going to be putting out videos all year long. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for checking it out today, and we'll see you next time.